As Ronaldo wipes the tears from his face with a quarter million dollar watch, he would trade everything that he owns to spend another minute with his father. Way of life has cute, even in a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about Ronaldo's recent interview in which he breaks down crying after seeing videos and pictures of his deceased dad. Before we proceed with this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up and I need you to subscribe to this channel as well. To all my OG subscribers out there who's been with me from the go, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. And if you're new to this channel, Welcome to the channel. Recently, Ronaldo gave an interview in which he was shown videos of his deceased father. Ronaldo broke down crying in his interview. Why? Because he realized Messi is better. Dude, it's not the time. Oh, I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Yeah, it was insensitive. I'm sorry about that. It's all right. Plus, Neymar is better. Wait, what? And it's so crazy because when we look at Ronaldo, we don't look at him as a person. We look at him as an athlete, someone who is beyond and above human emotion. And that's something we need to change. Remember, all these sports figures and actors and actresses are all human beings who have the same problems that you and I do. But oftentimes, we put them at such a high pedestal that we think it's beneath them to show any human emotion. Just to be clear, all celebrities, athletes, and whoever you look up to are regular human beings. They also poop. He showed a side of him that made us connect with him. Because when we look at Ronaldo, we look at him as a massive football star, an international global icon that there's no way that me and Ronaldo have anything in common. But believe me, you and I can relate to Ronaldo more than we think. One thing that really bothered Ronaldo was the fact that his father will never see his accolades. His father will never see who he actually turned out to be. His father passed away at a very young age and was never able to see Ronaldo for all his glory and all the accomplishments accomplishments that he's received. He just wishes that his father can see his success and see what he's become because he just wants to make his father proud. Now, how many of us are trying to please our parents? How many of us do a good deed or try to accomplish something in school so that we could come home and see that our parents are proud of us? But the sad reality is that even if we do something incredible and amazing, our families and parents are sometimes still not proud of us. You come home with that 94 and math all excited, thinking your parents are going to be so proud, but instead, this is what you get. Oh, mashallah, 94, huh? Oh, where's the other six marks, huh? Parents out there, you need to start becoming more proud of your children's accolades. Not because they have a 94, but because they tried their hardest. Because that's teaching them lessons, and it's rewarding them for their efforts. I lost my father at a very young age, so just like Ronaldo, I can sort of relate to that. My father's been out of my life since I can remember, actually, and my earliest memories of my father was always him saying, how stupid I was and how so disappointed in me for not being able to be as smart as my sister, not being that good at math, not being that good at reading. And because I share the same name as my dad, I always felt that he felt that I was a disappointment to his name. And just like Ronaldo, I wish that my father was around to see what I've done with my life and what I've become. But just remember something, though you want to make your parents proud, that's a good thing. But don't always try to seek their approval all the time because you might not get it and that might shatter your self-esteem. Another lesson we learned from this emotional interview is that we got to respect and love our parents. Our parents' time is limited in this world and we have to do our absolute best to serve them and make them happy. But make them happy by not appeasing them, not doing things just to make them happy, even if it goes against your wishes, but rather doing things that you love, you enjoy as well. And finding that common ground and balance that makes them proud of you to show them what kind of person you've become and doing something that you love at the same time. Take advantage of the fact that your parents are here right now, if your parents are alive and in your life and they are together, do your absolute best to build a relationship and bond with them. It doesn't matter how much accolades and MVPs and money Ronaldo has, he can never bring back a memory that he has with his father. And that shows us that our memories and relationship with our parents and families are priceless. I genuinely believe and wish that my father was around so that he could see my accolades, what I've achieved. But I'm also happy that he was not around because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that perhaps if he was around, I'd be doing things to please him and I'd have no self-esteem and self-worth myself because I'd always be looking to appease him and making sure that he approves and he likes it rather than me doing it for the sake of Allah and me building my own character, my own personality, and my own confidence with my relationship with Allah and everything else that I've accomplished. We also learned that if you've lost a parent out there and you genuinely miss them and you genuinely want to help them, then be their sadaqah jariyah. That's the only way that you can 
help them. If you're someone who's lost a parent, just know that it's not over. If you truly love that parent, then be their sadaqa jariya. Be that person, helps expand their grave, give them nice smells in their grave, a beautiful light in their grave. Be the deeds that your parents need in their graves because we all will need deeds in our graves and we would pray that we have pious children to help us achieve this tranquility in our grave. But be the sadaqa jariya of your parents if you truly love them. For all of us who've lost parents out there, you genuinely miss your parents, then be someone who's on the deen. Do good deeds, do righteous deeds because that's what's really going to show your love and support for them. If you truly love them and miss them, then make their stay in the grave easier for them by doing good deeds. As Ronaldo wipes the tears from his face with a quarter million dollar watch, he would trade everything that he owns to spend another minute with his father. What's the sadness for you? To be the number one, and it only say nothing, and it don't see to receive rewards, to see what I... He never saw how great you can. That means more to him than anything that he's achieved. All the riches, all the greatness, all the fame that he has, he would give it away in a heartbeat just to spend moments with their parents. And that shows us that happiness is not found from wealth, from success. Happiness is truly being good to your parents and having good relationships with them. If your parents are alive and in your life, make sure that you establish a bond with your parents. Establish a healthy relationship with your parents. And if it's not healthy right now, figure out a good medium to make that relationship better because wallahi you're going to be in regret one day and that's one thing that I don't want you to have and just know that they won't be around forever oh that was the video guys I appreciate you watching may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you tell me in the comment section below what was your favorite part of the video or some thoughts feedback and major takeaways from this video drop them in the comment section below and remember make sure that you smash this video with a huge thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel as well and until next time I'm, I'm out. I'm feeling good waking up today. Got to say thanks to Allah for giving me another day. For the breath I breathe.